Gaming, in one form or another, can probably be traced back to the dawn of mankind. Chess, for example, is believed to have originated way back in the 6th century AD, but video games? They're a whole new beast, and they're becoming more popular by the day. How popular, you ask? Consider this. Gamers are currently spending more time watching other people play video games on streaming devices like Twitch TV than people spend watching traditional spectator sports like football or soccer. In fact, gamers worldwide are estimated to spend 3 billion hours a week in front of their screen. In case you weren't sure, that's a lot. The most popular type of video games are first-person or third-person shooters such as Call of Duty, Fortnite, and Apex Legends. Rumor has it that games like these can cause the people that play them to become more violent and aggressive, but is there any proof that this is the case? Well, as far as actual studies can tell, no. Turns out the rumors are just rumors and violent games are no more likely to make people do violent things than Red Bull is to give you literal wings. However, that's not to say that video games don't have a very real effect on your brain. In fact, they can go so far as to physiologically change your brain's entire structure and activity levels for the better. <gasps> Studies indicate that video games can actually lead to improved attention, perception, memory, peripheral vision, and reaction time. In fact, they may also make us smarter, happier, more energetic, psychologically resilient, and social. Woohoo! Strategy games in particular show promise in improving brain function, and there's even evidence that video games could be a viable treatment for mood problems and depression. But don't go rubbing your mum's face in this and telling her, I told you so, just yet. The effect of video games on your brain may not be all fun and, well, for a lack of a better word, games. Video games can be highly addictive. They're kind of designed to be. These games give you fairly difficult tasks to accomplish within hyper-stimulative worlds. And when you accomplish these tasks, your brain releases dopamine, a chemical that is associated with pleasure, learning, and motivation. Basically, when you accomplish tasks in the video game world, you feel good. Really good. Maybe too good? While video games can have positive effects on mental function, the underlying issue is that you're not really accomplishing anything meaningful by playing them, but your brain is rewarding you as though you are. Because of this, some argue that while video games do improve brain function, they manifest themselves in reality through socially isolated, desensitized, and overly stimulated gamers with a decreased drive for real-world accomplishments. And what's the point of increased brain power if you're not doing anything worthwhile with it? That said, these issues only really arise when your video game hobby turns into an addiction. Unfortunately, addiction rates seem to be increasing as the World Health Organization recently added gaming disorder to its list of mental conditions affecting the world. All in all, Video games are still a relatively new form of media, and studies are only beginning to scratch the surface of how they affect our brains. It seems as though, if played responsibly, they can have positive effects on our mental capacity. Be careful though, because if your appreciation for video games becomes an addiction, it can lead towards social isolation and a lack of drive. As with most fun things, moderation is key.